This is superstar DJ Goldie Rocks. We followed her before the launch of the Rolling Stones Carnaby Christmas Lights as she picked her outfit, got glammed up and wowed the crowds. Let's get ready with Goldie Rocks. Oh hey, I'm Goldie Rocks. I've just arrived here at Kingley Court in Carnaby Street. I'm going to be DJing the launch of the Carnaby Street Christmas lights and decorations. Quite excited about that. It's all Rolling Stones themed this year. Now they've called in some clothes for me, which I'm supposed to be wearing. Hopefully some posh design stuff. These clothes look amazing. Yes, this is totally my vibe. Thank God. So obviously lots of eyes on me tonight. Lots of cameras. Got to look flash. So I'm going to pick out my outfit. Not quite sure what I'm going to wear yet. So let's have a look. So when I DJ, I generally wear stuff that's quite theatrical, that really stands out, that's bold, especially stuff that moves as I move, because I jump around, go crowd surfing and climb off things. So um, I really love this. It's a Vivian, um, it's an old, sorry, Aussie Clark. Uh, and I just like it because it's really sweeping and quite glamorous and bright. Um, I also love this. This is a Diane von Furstenberg. You can see it's just a little bit sort of translucent and quite fun and summery. This is really cool. It's kind of um, it's a vintage piece I picked up in a store called Rocket. Uh, just really nice lace panels. It's one of my faves. It's from All Saints. It's just got this really lovely embellished work on it. Again, it's a bit translucent. Show off my boobs. Uh, but again, I think it's a little bit summary for tonight. So I've warmed up with quite um, a few cool people. Caravan Harris, worked with him a number of times, he's really cool. Dizzy Rascal, who is the biggest boy you have ever seen, he's so fun. Um, and Chemical Brothers, Soul Wax, lots of cool people. I think the person that's got the best style of any other one that I've worked with is probably Mark Ronson. He's very, very swish. Amazingly cut suits, always perfectly coiffed hair looks far more grim than I do. I think music and fashion go hand in hand as they had done since the dawn of time. Uh, one influences the other and, and vice versa. When I'm picking an outfit for a night out, it, it really depends how I feel and what kind of event it is. If I'm going to be wearing heels or flats, this for example, this is just a little thing from ASOS, but you can actually get away with a nice little pump with that. So ultimate tip, if you're looking to get super long slinky legs, Nude heel, amazing. Uh, nice tanned leg, nude heel, makes your legs look like they're going on forever and ever and ever and ever. Caroline Flack is a big fan of this, you'll see. But yeah, works a treat. So I love jewellery. I think it's a brilliant way really to sort of make or break an outfit. Um, when I'm DJing, I try and keep it quite simple on my hands. Like I might have one ring, but otherwise it's gonna like distract me with my knob twiddling. So uh, not too much hanging off around my wrists. I think this one is just really popping out. Magic Yeti coat. One, it can keep me warm, very practical in the outside cold, but it's just amazing. I think this is gonna go with this as we're kind of doing the Kate Moss thing. This is a Kate Moss frock for Topshop. It's kind of like a smock. These are my favorite boots of all time. They are um, Cavella at Kurt Geiger, but I just love that they're quite high, but then there's this built-in wedge. So they're quite sleek as well. Right, so it's a couple of hours before I DJ, but I've still got to do my hair, I've still got to do my makeup, loads to do, and I've got to find somewhere to get changed. I'm going to try and find like a Starbucks loo or something. Right. <laughs> so, feel a lot better now I'm changed. I did have to get dressed in someone's random dressing room in a clothes shop, but it's okay. Here I am. This is my kind of Marian faithful look. I'm pretty pleased with it. Just got to get my hair and my makeup done. Right, uh, I'm five minutes late. I look really scruffy, so I need to sort my hair out. Hey, Hi. I'm Sam. I've got an appointment Hi. for a blow dry. Yeah. I love getting my hair done. It's always quite a treat. I think it always just makes you feel more groomed. Uh, I try and do it quite often, especially when I've got sort of fancy events to go to and stuff. But you know, dollar dollar, gotta watch the pennies. Major tips I would say to work on to achieve the ultimate sexy look is don't worry about taking your sections too cleanly, okay? 
because then that would create a bit more of a sort of a, an undone, cooler, sexier look. Make sure you have a really good set of uh, curling irons or some of those uh, straightening irons which have become very modern and trendy to create good texture and good curl. And also try and invest in a really good dry shampoo just so you can spray that on at the roots, especially if sometimes you don't want to necessarily wash your hair. You can just spray that at the roots and continue and work on creating this look. So, the transformation is almost complete. I've got my outfit sorted, I've got my hair sorted. Now we just need to get this sorted. <laughs> Um, I think basically just a really sort of clear, clear skin, mm -hmm. um, quite a sort of dewy complexion, lots of shaping around yes. here, so I'm a bit puffy from travelling at the moment, yeah. <laughs> um, and just a really cool rock chick smoky yeah. eye. Dark, very dark. Colors. Yeah, really dark, quite nice definition on the eyebrows as well, okay. um, heavy eyelashes, yeah. um, just something that I can wear at night. Um, and maybe even take it so dark it's almost editorial rather than okay. sort of like yeah, going yeah, out. Yeah, 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 that's fine. Yeah. What's them? <laughs> For a perfect smoky eye, the easiest way is to first start with a base that you can actually use to colour all over the eye as actually like an eyeliner pencil or an eyeliner gel. That's what I'm using now. And that basically creates the darkest base. Then you, another tip is that you should add other colours. It shouldn't all be black. You should add a bit of brown. That's what helps it to look more smoky rather than just the black eye. So I've had a brilliant day. I've had my hair done, I've had my makeup done, I've picked my outfit and we are finally here, the piece de resistance, turning on the Carnaby Christmas lights. I'm so psyched. Let's do it! Yeah.